Hi guys, so we all know that Britain is no longer a member of the European Union, but you'll still see the European flag appearing on plaques on public buildings and streets in the UK. Why is that? Well, it's due to European Regional Development Funds. Ironically, the British government's Welcome Back Fund, which is a national programme to get people back to normal life after the pandemic, is partly funded by the European Union. The sting for Brexiteers and their supporters is that any cash sent by Europe must have the EU flag appear, showing that it was partly or wholly funded by European money. But you're probably asking, didn't the UK leave the European Union in 2020? Yes, but many projects are long term and the UK had signed up to them before it had decided to leave. Which funds is the UK still part of? Well, the Regional Development Fund is one, with the European Social Fund and the European Territorial Cooperation Programme being another one. However, there are some other programmes that the UK is still part of, even though it is no longer a member of the European Union. The European Regional Development Fund in particular has an end date of 2023 and will invest in projects until then. This fund is helping to get high streets back to normal after the pandemic, but it also includes programmes to help deal with youth unemployment in the East Midlands. There's also cash made available as part of this fund to help career development in Yorkshire and also a mental health support project in Sheffield. I recently did a video on the so-called divorce bill, well, this takes into account the money that the UK paid in during the period of 2014 to 2020, when a lot of these projects were either first realised or they got their latest round of funding. Thankfully, most of these projects will continue to see European funding until 2023, but after that, it's likely that these programmes will be wound down, as it's unlikely that they will see the same type of funding from the Exchequer, if they see any at all. Now, Boris Johnson's government is planning an alternative called the UK Shared Prosperity Fund. However, it isn't clear how funding will be distributed and what types of projects will get financial backing. The European Union will start the next round of funding soon and of course the UK will not be included. Britain did pay in a great deal of money when it was a member of the European Union, but that money then came back in the form of projects to help society create both job opportunities and regional development. The major difference between money from Europe and money from central government is the type of strings that are attached. They're very different. One of the drivers of European money is that it should be spent in deprived areas. There are also high demands on transparency and anti-corruption is a core aspect. Money from central government is often, but not always, used to buy votes or to prop up a member of parliament that is of the party of government. We have seen recently how Boris Johnson has talked about levelling up, but some of the areas that have been designated deprived are far from it. What they do have going for them is a Tory MP who wants to impress the voters and keep his or her seat. European money is about delivering for society, not helping out political parties. It is a great loss to Britain to lose this European funding in the future. It provides benefits to society on so many levels. There is little chance that the Tories or Boris Johnson will even consider emulating the type of funding that came from Europe. Let me know in the comment section guys what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?